Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic waves part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 9 before going ahead with part 10. Next one is the microwaves. Microwaves, I am very sure before I tell something, all of you are aware of your microwave oven which you see in a kitchen. So that is one of the important application of microwaves. So before that, let us quickly have a look at uh, some of the important points on microwaves. Microwaves are nothing but short wavelength radio waves because this is the next number after radio waves. The first one was radio waves, next one was microwave. So this had maximum wavelength. So this has lesser wavelength than radio waves. So these are called short wavelength radio waves. They are produced by special vacuum tubes which are Klystrons, magnetrons or gun diodes. I mean the, understanding all these things is uh, not required for you at this level. When you, go, when you go for higher studies in physics, for example, when you do your masters in physics or something, then you will be studying in detail about uh, apparatus like gun diodes, which are used for producing microwaves. Important application includes the microwave ovens, of course, and the radar system in aircraft navigation. Now, I will discuss each of these in detail, microwave ovens as well as the, the radar system in aircraft navigation. Because they are both very important application and you should know, at you should have at least some knowledge about each of them. So, let us talk about radar, which is an, a very useful technology. What is radar? Radar stands for, radar basically stands for radio detection and ranging. So that is the full form of radar, radio detection and ranging. So this radar is a, a very important technology which is used for aircraft navigation. In fact, not only in aircraft navigation, it has several other applications. So before I start explaining what are the different applications, I will quickly tell you about the different applications. The first one is the air traffic control. For example, when the pilot is um, in the aeroplane, he is flying the aeroplane, he should like the way there is a traffic police on road to manage traffic. Similarly, some, there has to be something which will manage the air traffic as well. A pilot should know if any other aeroplane is present nearby or not so that it does not go and hit the other plane. It should know whether some plane is there behind it. It should also be able to know the climatic conditions when it is taking off or when it is coming down. So for smooth takeoffs and smooth landing as well as to detect the presence of other aeroplanes in the vicinity, it is very much important that um, there is a proper aircraft navigation which can guide the pilot for the aircraft movement. Right. So radar plays a very important role in that. Not only that, it is also used for speed detection by in, uh, in, in our roads. You would have seen that uh, when you go on highways or something there you can see that there are some instruments which are placed at the side of the road as you can see here. So these instruments are used to measure the speed of the vehicles which pass by. Sometimes you will see that even police vans will be standing there and if I mean on certain highways and all they mention a speed limit right. They say that the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. That means you should not drive your car or you should not drive your vehicle above that speed. Right. So whenever you cross that speed, there is a, an, um, a device which is used to, which will detect your speed. And if you cross that speed, uh, there will be police vans standing there and they'll just stop you and then take some fine from you and things like that. Right. So those instruments which are used to detect speed of vehicles which are at certain distance from it, they also use the this technology. Not only that, it is also used for military purposes in order to I mean military purposes it is used in this sense that it is used to detect enemy so that the enemy cannot attack from any time anywhere right so because so it, it helps to detect enemies as well as it helps to guide weapons like if some weapon enemies have kept some weapons somewhere or not so it is used for that detection as well it is also used for satellite tracking for example this uh, 
big shots like the NASA spaceships and all those things, they go to space and they try to track some satellites. So for satellite tracking also, this radar is a very useful technology. Now, how does this radar work and what is the role of microwaves in radar? Now, the name has radio in it. It is called, it, it, they say that it utilizes short wavelength radio waves. So short wavelength radio waves are nothing but your microwaves. So, why only microwaves? Why microwaves are suitable for this technology? The first reason is that they have very short wavelength. Secondly, it is invisible to humans. That is also a very important criteria because let us suppose that if you have that uh, a device which detects speed. So some waves are getting transmitted all the time, right? So if you are able to see those waves, it, be it will become very irritating because every time you will see some light coming in from here and there. So this is also one advantage that microwaves are invisible to humans, even though things are taking place, but it is not causing any disturbance to our visibility. For example, let us suppose I am standing here, I am waiting for a bus right so i my visibility towards the road traffic should be clear now if this radio i mean if microwave instead of microwaves they use visible light those light rays i'll be able to see those light rays and that will cause obstruction to my visibility right so this is also one good thing that microwaves are invisible to humans now microwaves are also easy to detect even if they are faint even if a slightest presence of microwaves can be detected so these are some of the reasons because of which microwaves are chosen for this radar technology. Now, how does this radar work? Now, a radar set basically consists of a radar set basically consists of a transmitter and a receiver. Now, what is the function of the transmitter? The transmitter does nothing but it transmits the microwaves. Right? And what does the receiver do? It receives the echo after the microwave strikes some object. Now what happens is that, for example, let us suppose you have a transmitter. The transmitter transmits the microwaves. The microwaves goes, as soon as it strikes some object, whichever comes in its path, it gets either reflected right and this reflection is received by the receiver. Now this reflection is generally in the form of echo. You will learn about these phenomena like echo, Doppler shift when we study about light waves and sound waves, right? So what happens? This uh, reflected wave is received by the receiver. Now, depending upon this received wave, which the receiver receives, we are able to track the presence of some other object. For example, if you are in the aeroplane, right? Now, if some microwaves is sent from the uh, transmitter and the microwaves goes and searches in the vicinity, as soon as it feels the presence of another aircraft, it strikes to that aircraft and it comes back. Now, when the received, when the reflected wave is received by the receiver, the receiver gets to know that, okay, that means it has, it, it has striked with some object. That means there is some aeroplane present there. Right? So that is how you come to know that the presence of some other object in the vicinity. That is how it helps in military purposes also to, to detect enemy or to detect the weapons. Similarly for satellite tracking where, where it is able to detect satellite or it can track satellites. And it also helps in speed detection because uh, with the help of, I mean by sending these uh, microwaves, we are also able to calculate the Doppler shift. That means the slightest displacement of that particular object. It, it can not only detect the presence of a particular object, it can also detect the displacement of that object. So in turn that helps us to calculate the speed of that object, right? So this is how uh, microwaves play a very important role in this very useful technology of radar, which in turn has so many applications. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.